today we're going to be going over four clips of Ishmael Musakayev hitting his unique shot. Um, I call it the cheetah shot. Um, most Americans know him for his battles with Yanni de Akamahales. He's insanely fast and explosive, so let's get right into it. A few things to pay attention to. Pay attention to. He always hits the ground on all fours before he hits it. That's what makes it so unique. Before he hits the ground, he's always kind of doing that from by exaggerating some type of snap from his opponent. It can be an old hook snap like the one seen in the clip that I just played. It can be from a, a wrist snap, a, a simple snap from his opponent's collar tie, and you'll see those similarities in all, the, in all these videos. He goes under hook, opponent goes snap, not that hard. He goes, lunges at the leg. Now what you'll see right here, typically in the, in the next three clips you'll see it, he wants his hand around the knee, around the knee area. So he typically finishes in a um, something closer to a shot form. Since he's all the way down at the ankle in this clip, obviously he's a little bit further out from the body, so he has to finish a different way. Next clip is for Haji Aliyev, very good wrestler. Now in slow motion. He tries to shred it off. Aliyev pushes his head down. He then goes around. He circles to his opponent's right leg like he always does. And he lunges at it. Notice his position. This knee is on the ground. His inside leg, his right leg is on the ground. His left foot is up. He's also kind of sitting on his heels. You will notice that in the other two clips. Something that he typically... The, this is a position that he prefers to finish this shot in. This is when he hit it on Yanni. This is their first match when Musakaya was up 9-0. to zero. Yanni hit some kind of snap. He let it play through. We need to talk about it on the slow-mo version. As you can see, let me go back to that. He has a collar tie. You can see Yanni snap his arm down. And obviously, this is not a snap that's going to make him hit the ground. <clears throat> this is not a snap that's going to make him hit the ground. But he goes with it like he does in the other clips. He gets on all fours, and then he lunges at the leg. Same finish here. He hits the same finish here. His inside leg is down on his knee. He's kind of, his butt is kind of sitting back on his heel, and his left leg is up. His outside leg is up. He goes back to that crap down position, similar position against Aliyev. This is the first time I saw him hit this. It was crazy. Opponent snaps, regular snap. Simple call a tie. You can see his right hand come up. Call a tie. Musicali goes along with it. It goes perfectly because he likes circling to the right leg of his opponent anyways. This time, he acts a little bit further out than usual, just a little bit. He, he hits his shot pretty far out, which is crazy that he hits it against high-level guys because he just really fast. Lunges at it, end up in that same position that he ended up against Yanni in the layoff. On his right knee, but sitting back on his heels, left leg up. And that's just how he prefers to finish a shot. And watch where his hand is. His hand is much closer to the knee this time. Finishes. Gets to do some auto picks. See this position? Left knee down. Me, my bad. Right knee down, left leg up, sitting back on his heel. Again, left knee down. Right knee down, sitting back on his heel, left leg up. Right knee down, sitting back on his heel, left leg up. Only time it was different was when he hit this one, was because he came all the way out to the ankle. So that's the breakdown for the day, guys. Remember, he does this off, off of his opponent's snap. 
He gets on all fours and he almost lunges at his opponent. So do it what you will. Thank you. Tune in for the next video. And guys, I'm calling this the sprinter shot because he looks like a sprinter coming out the box. So that's the official name for it. If you got something better, let me know. Thanks.